Yeah, we were just talking about that. We started the process in 2022. Um, meeting with Keller and working through the process, doing some site visits, and worked through the grant process to get the grant. Worked with the townships, the local partners there to, to make the funding happen, and uh, it's finally time to start this project. Right. It's a it's great to see something so collaborative, right? Like you mentioned, we've got the city, we've got three different townships, uh, and the, the federal grant, and for all these partners to be able to come together to make this project happen is, is fantastic. And what would you say to people that are like, um, well, you got a new city hall, you got a new police station, now a new fire station, boy, that's a right. lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. Um, I've talked about that over the last few years with different folks and that, you know, locally here, when you look at our, our municipal infrastructure, I think that the folks that, you know, have been in charge over the years have done such a good job of prolonging bigger purchases and, you know, fixing things, putting band-aids on things and keeping them functional. And unfortunately, I think we just hit an unfortunate time where when you looked at City Hall and the shape it was in there, there wasn't a lot of options if we if we truly cared about health and safety of our employees. Um, the fire station, we've outgrown that. Um, there's health and safety issues there. And the PD was in that building. Um, they were the first ones to move out. So uh, I completely understand people's concern with, with what's going on, but with with this project specifically, you know, we've got a $5.25 million grant. We're never going to get this done any cheaper. And there was definitely a need to do it. Um, and, on, you know, with the partners we've got come together on it, I think it's definitely the right time. And it's really an attempt to also keep this a volunteer fire department right. as long as possible. Right. That, and that's something we see nationally here. You know, volunteerism is, is struggling. Um, and one of the things that chiefs that our chief and myself have talked to over the across the state is if you can have amenities that people you know are, are excited about being in modern all those things it actually promotes new new opportunities for people so volunteerism um, there's a, a department to our north that built a new facility and he said it was the best thing they ever did to get a new interest sparked in in the fire department so you know as people watch this interview and watch the progress of this building if it's something they want to be interested in we're always looking for new members so call the chief and uh, or talk to another member and fill out an application we'd love to have you